So you may think that three different things for my allergies or three different medications for my allergies is kind of overkill. But until you've lived in Eugene, Oregon, you really don't even understand. It is like the pollen capital of the world. And I'm not even kidding, you can actually look it up. Last year and the year before, Eugene had one of the highest, if not the highest, pollen count in the United States. Which is pretty crazy. Quick practice recap, I warmed up with hurdle mobility and doing that kind of thing, so that was our regular hurdle warm up, three steps, one steps, hammers, and all that fun stuff. Then went on to long jump stuff and did those long jump, doo -doo -doo, and then land on the mat. Those are actually pretty fun, I really enjoy doing those and they actually help quite a bit. Um, then did... Some bounding stuff didn't really show it, or I didn't show it at all actually. So we did bounding, uh, standing long jumps, landing in the pit, um, then three double leg contacts like this, like your little Easter bunny, jumping up and down into the pit, and then uh, three run, it's so like you sprint for three steps, and then bound for eight contacts. I've showed that one before, you guys might have seen it in one of the previous videos, but Right now, I need to call a couple of places and find out if they have any caps for starting pistols because me and Lauren are coaching that middle school team like you guys know and we need to, we're hosting the meet tonight so I have to have a starting pistol and I have the pistol itself, I just don't have the caps to make it go bang. So now I need to call a couple of places and find out if we can get those caps. Hi, I was calling to find out if you guys had any 22 blank rounds. Oh, okay. Thank you. Over one, and they said that possibly they'll have to be special ordered, so we'll see what happens. Hi, I was calling to find out if you guys sold 22 blanks. Oh, really? Dang. Okay. Um, over two. They have them, or they stock them at least, but they don't have them in stock. Talking coverage soon, but I won them last night at that dinner. So good. Okay. So the dealio is that we have to go now to Maris to go talk to the high school coach so we can go start some races with some starting pistol caps. As much as I hate to admit it, um, yesterday's vlog sucked. So, if you watched it, thank you very much. If you liked it, thank you very much. But, let's be honest. It was, it was not a good video. I just didn't take the time yesterday. I mean, it was the first time I'd gotten back into vlogging. So I just didn't really take the time to put together a good video for you guys. And I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, but thank you to those that watched it. It was nice of you guys. All right, so we have successfully retrieved 
starting pistol caps. These are little like six millimeter blank shells that go in like a little 22 pistol that just make a little loud bang and start off races. So we have those. The next thing we are going to go to is there's a lot that goes into a meet. And now that we have the starting stuff all ready to go, we will then have to try and set up the timing system. And the timing system, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, it's a lot of cables, it all runs on batteries I think, so we gotta check the batteries. And it relies on one person pressing a button and then seven other people pressing another button to get eight total times. And it's very, very temperamental. It's a little old, it's a little archaic, but it's a middle school meet, so we don't do we don't do the whole cameras and all that stuff like we do at the college and professional level, and even high school level, I think. Um, so we're it's gonna be it's gonna be different, but we'll see how things work out. Um, we're actually gonna go home and set it up and test it right now. This is our timing system. Apparently, batteries are dead. Great. I'm trying to figure out how to set it up to work. So we're gonna try three lanes. We're going to see if three lanes will work. Okay. So this is lane one. This guy starts it. So, bang! Got that one going. Boop, he finished. Boop, he finished. Boop, he finished. Great. I uh, don't know how to stop the clock. And after a stressful like 20 minutes, 15 minutes maybe, we are off to the meet. You may see that I'm in a different environment than I'm usually in. And this will be the only vlog that I will be doing in this environment because it is Lauren's new car. I'm taking it because she is gonna take mine because mine is full of all the track gear. I have to run right now to get, wow, sorry, I'm just kind of spacing. I have to run right now to get batteries for the timing device. I'll talk to you guys later after the meet. I'll keep you updated. Let's be honest, you guys knew I wasn't gonna actually update you. I never do. The meet went well. It rained the whole time. I'm glad I brought rain gear. Um, we handed out the jerseys. Everyone liked them. They were a little bit too big for some people. We forget that they're middle schoolers sometimes. Um, but yeah, the meet went well. And that's gonna be about it for today's vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am going to try and improve the quality of the vlogs because I know yesterday's really wasn't good and I apologize for that. But hopefully today's was a little bit better. I thought the practice went well, that whole thing. I know I didn't end it, but you guys understand why I didn't end it and I'm ending it today, of course. Like always, remember, be nice to people, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down, don't dance so fast, and go outside and uh, enjoy this. This beautiful weather we call Eugene, Oregon. But hopefully, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching. And I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.